Hey guys. In this video, we will add score to the game. Currently the game has no score, so we will do it now. When the player will pass over an obstacle. The player will get one score. So, let's get started. First, we are going to need a text component. Text is an UI component. UI means user interface by the way. Every games have main menu which is the biggest example of UI. We use text and button stuff to make user interface. However, Unity has an awesome UI system, which you will understand shortly. In this video, we will only show the score using UI. So, I am going to start by creating a text object from the UI option, then we can call it score text. We can show some text inside the game using this thing. We can see the text was created under the canvas object. Because, we must need a canvas to create an UI item. Don't worry, canvas is not a hard thing to understand. Canvas is just a thing that contains UI elements. Now, if we select the canvas, then put the cursor on the scene view, and press the F key from our keyboard. We can see, Unity automatically took the focus to the canvas. In this way, we can easily took the focus to a game object without dragging the scene view manually. In the scene view, we can see the text is placed at the bottom left corner by default. We will use this text to show the score. Now, we will make a change to the canvas. We know, there are different size screens in real mobile devices. So, we have to make the game fit for all screen size. In this case, we want the UI items will be big or small automatically according to the screen size. But, currently if I make the game view window smaller, we can see the text is not getting smaller. So, if we want to make the UI item scale automatically, we have to click on the UI scale mode option, then select the scale with screen size. Now, we will change the reference resolution to 1600 for the X, then for the Y value we can set 720. Because, this is the standard screen size for a mobile horizontally. Now, we will drag the match slider and make it 0.5. Now, there will be nothing wrong if the actual device screen is even bigger or smaller than the reference resolution, the UI items will be scaled automatically. So, I am going to place the text at the top left corner, where the score should be placed. Now, we can change the text to score. We will set the value 0, by default. We will increase the font size like this. Now, we will change the font of the score text. So, we will create a folder called fonts as we have to import a font file. So, I am going to right click, and select import new asset. We are importing a TTF font file called prompt. So, after importing the font, we will drag and drop the font to the font option as you can see. The font has been applied, but we cannot see the text there. Because the new font has made the text even bigger than the text box. So, we have to decrease the font size. So we can see the font has been changed. You can of course use any font that you want. Then make sure this box is big enough. Because, if the text gets bigger than the text box, then it will not show anything. So, make sure the box is big and wide. Currently, the game view is set to free aspect. But, we want to view our game in a real device screen size. So I am going to press on this drop down, then select the plus icon. Now, we have to give it a name for the resolution size. We can name it 20 is to 9 landscape, 
as this is a horizontal game. Now, here in the drop down, we have to select the fixed resolution, or you can select the aspect ratio instead if you want. But, I prefer fixed resolution. I am going to put the X value 1600, for Y I am going to set 720. Then, hit OK. Now, if we make the game view window bigger or smaller, we can see text size is getting bigger or smaller according to the screen size. Now, we will create an empty game object called score detector. We will reset the transform first. This game object will detect obstacles. When the player will jump over an obstacle, this object will go through that obstacle. Then we will detect the collision and increase the score. So we will add a box collider to this game object. Now, we will edit the collider shape. We should make it longer like this. Now, I will place the game object behind the player. Because, first the player has to overpass an obstacle, after that the score detector will detect the obstacle and we will increase the score. Now, we have to enable the is trigger option, so the object will be able to go through the obstacle silently. Now, we will get into the coding part to make the score functional. So, we will create a script called score system. First, we will need the onTrigger enter 2 d function. Here, we will detect the collision with obstacle. We already know how to detect a collision as we have done it multiple times. So, when the collision will happen, then we want one score to be added to the current score. So, first I will create a public integer type variable called score. The default value is zero. Now, we will need another variable because we have to access the score text. Since the text is an UI component. So, we first have to import the UI to use the text in a script. At the top side, we will type using unityengine.ui. So, now we will be able to create a text type variable. We are going to name it score text. Now, inside the collision detection, we will first update the score value to add one number to the score variable. Now, we will set the score to the score text. So, we have to write score text dot text and then after an equal sign we will write the text that we want to show now. Here we want to show score and a colon before the score number. So, we will write the score and colon with spaces. The text you put inside the double quote will be shown exactly as the output. Then we will add a plus sign and write the score variable name. This is how we print a variable value with a string value together. String means the text which is inside the double quote. So, I am going to save the script, and then go back to the Unity editor. Now, we will attach the script to the score detector game object. Here, in the score text variable, we will attach the score. Now, as we want this game object to run along with player. So, we will also attach the follow player script. So, now play the game.
Wow, it's working correctly. So, I will see you in the next video.